taxation without representation. This was the battle cry of the American Revolution. And if it was good enough for this nation, why isn't it good enough for Clemson University? According to the Clemson University budget 2019, the details of which can be found on the Clemson University website, student fees account for $500 million of the annual operating budget of Clemson of $1.3 billion. And yet there is no student representative on the board of trustees that oversees that spending. This is a democratic injustice that has exercised me ever since I've been at Clemson. I have researched the subject, I've written about it in the Tiger, Clemson student newspaper. I have met with the Dean of Students, and I've met with the student body president. I get nervous too. Which brings me to the point of my speech today. This is a subject that should concern all students in Clemson, including you. And my speech is, there is no student representative on the Clemson Board of Trustees, leaving students with no opportunity to voice their concerns about decisions that impact them, and leaving trustees with no opportunity to hear input from students about their priorities. Today I'm going to look at three areas. First of all, I'm going to look at why it's a problem that there's no student representative. Secondly, I'm going to look at the causes of this reality. And thirdly, I'm going to address some possible solutions. So first, why is it a problem that there is no representative, student representative, on the Clemson Board of Trustees? To begin with, we have no voice in the Board of Trustees about how they spend our $500 million. According to Peter Schmidt, writing in the Chronicle of Higher Education, April 23, 2015, most US colleges have a student representative on their board of trustees, but not Clemson. Why not? Secondly, since the board of trustees is spending money on our education and our support services like parking and health, how can they possibly know what our priorities are if we don't have a student representative in the room during every spending discussion? So, well, you might say, if there was a student representative there, they would just deal with parochial concerns. According to Maya Logan, writing in e June 19, 2018, this is precisely why you have a student representative on the Board of Trustees, so that parochial student educational concerns are always front and center. Okay, so let's say we accept the did we recognize the value of having a student representative on the board of trustees? Let's bring me to my second point. Why doesn't Clemson have one? What are the causes of this reality? The first point is history. Clemson University was created in 1889 by the will of Thomas Green Clemson. The details of that will can be found online in the Clemson University website. The terms of that will have very strict conditions as to the Board of Trustees. Seven members were nominated by Thomas Clemson, and they appoint their successors in perpetuity. The remaining six members are appointed by the South Carolina Legislature. Yet, the will has no accommodation for a student representative, and this is historically why there has never been a student representative on the Board of Trustees. Okay, okay, okay. but surely there's a way around the will. Well. Speaking as a former lawyer myself, I say, yes, there is. Well, then why hasn't a way been found? My research can find no answer to that, which brings me neatly to my third point, possible solutions. What do I think are possible ways around the Clemson will? The first possible solution is to appoint a student representative ex officio. Nick Price writing in Board Effect, August 22, 2008, says it is common to have ex officio board members who may or may not be able to vote on everything, but certainly can speak on every topic on the agenda. An ex officio student trustee is not in contravention of the Clemson Bill. The second possible solution is to persuade the South Carolina legislature to appoint a student representative as one of their six trustees. Yeah, well, that's never going to happen. Actually, you're wrong. According to Jason Raven, 
writing in WSTV News, July 22, 2019, Republican South Carolina Senator Katrina Sheely is drafting a bill that will put a student representative on the board of trustees of every college in South Carolina that is state supported, and she does not exclude Clemson. Okay, so let's say that we can put a student representative on the Clemson Board of Trustees. So what? Who cares? What's going to get better? According to Claude Celeste Schwartz, writing in EDU Cause Review, August 4, 2008, if you involve students in decision making, not only does it give traditional decision makers a better and more relevant perspective, it allows students to be more invested in the decisions of the day. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> okay, in Clemson speak, way less whining on Reddit. All right. Is there anything that you can do? Yes, there is. If every student in student elections next February votes for candidates who support the idea of having a trustee, a student trustee, on the Clemson Board of Trustees, then that new student government will be able powerfully to lobby both the Board of Trustees and the South Carolina Legislature. <coughs> Today, I have uh, looked at this speech and this thesis. <coughs> the Clemson Board of Trustees has no student representative, leaving students with no opportunity to voice their concerns <coughs> about decisions that affect them, and leaving trustees with no opportunity to hear input from students about their priorities. I have shared with you <coughs> problems that are associated with not having a student representative, <coughs> the causes of that reality, and some possible solutions. But I'd like to leave you with one closing thought. I think three of Clemson's will states, and I quote, said school or college, Clemson, shall be free of costs to the pupils. So I say this, give us a student representative, or give us back our feet. No taxation without representation, get the next February. Thank you.